Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. It's springtime here at Old Sneelock's Workshop. That means the neighbors are out with their leaf blowers and it's been going on for three days. I can't wait any longer. I need to do this part of the job. This is a Union 537 transitional plane. At least it's the wooden part of it. The problem that I have with this wooden part is somebody let it get wet and the screws actually ate the holes out so there's no more threads in these holes. To repair the screw holes I'm going to use this 3 8 Forstner bit. That'll let me drill a nice flat bottom hole so when I make a plug out of some beach with this plug cutter I can drive that plug down in here and fill that hole. Once I glue it in place I'll be able to re-drill the pilots, set the screws in, and this piece of wood will be brought back to useful condition as the basis for a Union 537 transitional plane. Using this electric drill press because it is in much better shape than the manual drill press down in the basement. The spindle tracks very well, does a nice job. I don't use it very often, but when I do, it comes in handy. Sneaking up on the bottom of the hole. I don't want to drill any further than I absolutely have to. But I want to get rid of all the old wood that's chewed up from where the screw went in. I'm going to set the depth stop. That way I'll know that I don't drill out the bottom of the plane.
One, two, three, four, five. Got all the holes drilled. Now I want to make sure that I don't drill into a nail because this one's been repaired a number of times and people thought that putting nails into the wood was probably the best thing to do. This section right here looks to be the best. Let's see if I can get five plugs drilled in. One of the problems with a step drive, one of the problems with a step cone pulley is the driving force behind one of the problems with the drill press with the cone pulleys is to change the speeds you have to remove you have to adjust where the belts are. To get this down slow enough, I need to take that belt off, then raise this belt up. By putting this belt back on, I'm gonna get the lower speed. And then putting this belt back on. Free these plugs 
I need to cut this section out. I'm going to take this miter saw, cut it here and here, then cut off the bottom of this so that I get those plugs opened up. 